Hello and welcome back friends. Have another video here for you going over how to use your HOTAS or Xbox controller for flight in No Man's Sky VR. That's right, No Man's Sky VR. This is not limited to Xbox controllers and will work with third party controllers or PS4 controllers provided you have the software for remapping inputs, which I will cover here shortly. This is also only for flight in VR. I will show you how to use your controller for non-flight VR, but it is very janky. Not everything works, so it's not at all a perfect workaround. The flight, however, does work quite well and will hopefully be super useful to some of you out there. So first, let me explain the mess of controls and why we are doing it this way. So as of now, after Beyond has been released and patched several times, more of it is starting to function properly. Keyboard and mouse have always worked fantastically. Hooking up a controller and jumping right in is also fixed and pretty painless, which was not the case for Beyond when it first dropped on PC. VR also works quite well, but it has its quirks as all VR games do. It is when you try to customize controls or add controllers where the game is like, hey, we didn't plan for that. So let's get into VR. Due to the way they made the button layout, from what I have read, my understanding is that Steam Input controls the button and controller layout, and you can edit it from there. It is in your Steam VR settings under controller settings. Here you can upload and use other people's profiles to change the layout of your controller. A few people on Reddit and the Steam community were able to do VR flight with a controller by just changing the profiles here, but I tried for like a half hour and eventually gave up and started to work on this workaround. Which works pretty decent for the time being until they add more functionality. I've heard that on the PlayStation 4 VR No Man's Sky you can use a DualShock controller, but I haven't confirmed this yet. Other players have had a hard time configuring controls in No Man's Sky since we have to do workarounds. Since you're in VR, Steam Input prioritizes the VR controllers. I mean, why wouldn't it, right? But lucky for us, the keyboard still works in VR, and the mouse works while we're in the cockpit of our ship or in the menu. So we'll just have to map our HOTAS or Xbox controller to input keyboard and mouse functions. So first, we'll start off with mapping the HOTAS so you can use it in the VR. The HOTAS is fairly simple to set up. In the corner is a link to my previous HOTAS mapping guide for No Man's Sky. Using this method, we can change just one item on it and profile it to our HOTAS. And bam, it's that simple. The thing we will want to change is the rudder. What we now want is to map the rudder to mouse X, which is the mouse X axis. That's the only thing we will want to do differently from the previous video. I have also linked my Discord channel in the description below, and from there you can download my profiles if you want to just skip the hassle of mapping the profile yourself and just download it. So you'll still have to use your VR controllers, but with this profile to our HOTAS, once we jump on our ship, we can set our VR controllers down on the table or in our lap and then grab our HOTAS and enjoy a much better flight experience. The virtual HOTAS isn't the worst, but it is very sensitive, and a physical throttle and stick make it so much more natural. If you have played a VR flight game with a HOTAS, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And that's it for the HOTAS setup. Super simple, happy flying, friend. Now, let's set up the controller. In my case, I'm using an Elite Xbox One controller. So what we need is to remap the buttons to input keyboard and mouse functions. With Steam input or Big Picture not being super friendly towards me, I went ahead with a handy program called Anti-Micro. You can use any remapping program, but I like this one for its profile set switching function, which I will talk about here shortly. So we want to profile this similar to the way we did the HOTAS. I will do a quick overview now, but the profile is on my Discord if you would just rather download it from there. So if you are familiar with the button locations, then this will be super easy. Launch your mapping program. Find your device, make sure it's on before you start the program. From here, let's make the controller the same way they have it in the game, only we will be matching up associated keyboard functions. You know, your basic controller remapping. So, touch right here, and I'll touch all the other ones. So we'll want to make the layout the same way that it is in the desktop mode when you use a controller. So we'll just set these to the mouse. This one up, this one down. You'll need to change that if you're an inverted flyer. So that's just where you will change it. This will be mouse left and mouse right. And then, so for the keypad, we want down 
as X for when we can answer incoming calls and summon anomalies and other ships like that. And then to navigate that menu is Q and E. So I'll make this Q and this one E. And then in the game, you hold both shoulder buttons to do the pulse drive. And I'm not 100% sure how to set that up. So I'm just going to make up on the D-pad pulse drive. And then you can put it wherever you want it. And then right trigger is accelerate, which is W. Left trigger is decelerate, which is S. And then A, we will make fire, which is left click. B, we will make boost, which is shift. X, we will make E for landing and using objects. Y, we will make G, so it changes weapons. Uh, we won't give anything to the back. I will, in later on in the video, I will assign something to this. But start, we will just make escape. Left stick click, we will make the scan. And then right stick click, I'm going to put as R for a reload. And then your left shoulder will be to roll left, which is A, and your right shoulder, roll right, which is D. And that's it. That's that's it pretty much set up. If you wanted to do the battlefield type style, you could map accelerate to the right stick. So that would be like when you hop in a battlefield aircraft, you use the left stick to steer, and then the right stick will control the throttle and how fast you go and stuff like that. But I just set it up to how it is in the game. So once we have this done, save it to wherever you want it to. Then from here, just load your created profile or the one that you downloaded from Discord. And with the program running, your controller should work just like the keyboard. We still cannot ditch the VR controllers, so use those to get around and play, as the Xbox controller for VR non-flight is not the best right now. So hop into your cockpit, set your VR controllers down, grab your newly mapped controller, which the Xbox One for me. Now flight and VR should work just as it does in the desktop mode with the controller. Hell yeah, we did it. You may have to invert an input or two, and you'll want to do this in the anti-micro program as No Man's Sky doesn't know you're using a mouse access mapped off of a controller, so it's not gonna give you the option to. Now you can use your HOTAS or controller to fly in VR, both of which feel quite nice and aren't too wacky at all. I think the developers did a damn fine job on the VR version, but the virtual HOTAS is a bit hard to get used to when you are used to using a physical, far more responsive one. And that's it friends, you should now be able to fly via HOTAS or controller in No Man's Sky VR. I also said I would cover a little non-flight VR with the controller, so this is a little tricky as I can't get the turning ability to work. That and the multi-tool will point backwards for some reason. It must rely on some sort of tracking feedback from the VR controllers. So currently there isn't a way to map the turning to a non-VR controller, at least that I'm aware of. Either modders will design a way around it, or Hello Games will better integrate the controls. Either way, this is all subject to change with the updates and patches. So in regular desktop No Man's Sky, there are two controller sets or profiles. One for walking around, and another one for flight. So we will just need to recreate both of these in Anti-Micro. I use Anti-Micro because I can map a button on the controller to switch profiles. So I can walk around with one profile, and then when I jump in my ship, I can press said button, and now my flight profile is uploaded to the controller. It's pretty neat. So real quick, I'll go over that just in case you were curious, and I will demonstrate the lack of ability to turn and the backwards multi-tool just so you can see it. So this is another profile that I have on here. I'll have it up under a different name so it has a nice description, but if you wanted to make it yourself, this is how I did. So in the set one, we're gonna make it uh, the walking profile in the regular desktop version of the game. In that version, uh, the left stick is going to be the, the WASD, so we'll just map that to that, and then I did it kind of the same way as I did for flight, X for the menu, Q and E to navigate, and then Z for the build menu, and that's all on the D-pad. And then just like the way it is in the game, right trigger is, you know, left left mouse click, and then left trigger is F, which is your scanner. A would be space to jump, B is tab to open your inventory. I think I set that one up that way. X as E so you can hop in your ship or use objects, and then Y is G to change your weapon. Start is escape again, left click is scan, right click is run, 
And then on the left shoulder, I put it as the right mouse button. And then right shoulder is Q, which is melee, because that's how it is in the game. So this is something I want to show you. So then in, in set two, I have it set up just the way it is for flight. So on this, the left stick is controlled by the mouse. And then the right, the, the right bumper and left bumper will control the roll. And then I have the D-pad kind of set up the way with the pulse drive up here on the top. Left trigger and right trigger are accelerate and decelerate. You know, A is fire, X is to land, B is to, to boost faster, Y is to change your weapon, start is escape, kind of just like the other one. But the back button, this is the, the button that I programmed to switch. So what you can do is you can click on it and you click advanced and you hit this set selector. And now you can select a two-way switch. So now on profile one, my back button, when I click it, it'll change it to set two. And then in set two, it automatically programs it. So now it's set one. So I can hop in the game, use this profile right here, number one, and walk around, do my thing. And then when I hop in my ship, just smack that back button, poof, and then it'll load this profile up. And now I can fly. It's pretty neat. I really enjoy it. So the, the great thing about these mapping programs is you can customize it completely, however you want to do it. And then it's not just for the Xbox like I did. You can do your PlayStation controller, your third-party controller, your Amazon Basics controller, uh, your banana hooked up to motion sensors, whatever the hell you got going on. And that's it, friends. You should now be able to configure another controller to work in No Man's Sky VR. I did see quite a few people asking about this or if they had the option to. So hopefully it did prove useful to some of you guys. As always, I really appreciate the support and you coming out to check out the video. If you found this helpful, go ahead and get subscribed for future content, as I'm sure we will have to dink with the controls again for No Man's Sky. Discord link is in the description if you needed those profiles or you got any other questions. So thanks again and we'll see you guys next time.